Make a Glock 19 with an APLC light, Miguel. Yeah, I know the APLC. It's been around for a long time. People use it. It's not expensive. It's it's a good light. Uh, now people are talking about the old light because the old light is obviously a good light as well. I heard that it runs through the batteries real quick though, so I don't know what the deal is. I get it, guys. But look, I'm gonna be honest with you. Guns with lights don't sell as much as. Uh, guns without lights they just don't and so we need to be careful in what we do as you can see we make our holsters different we don't use a blue gun where we can just go out and buy a blue gun and a light and we don't do that guys uh, our holsters are made especially the 3.0s are injection molded these these molds cost a lot of money and for us to go make a light or to make a holster with a light that doesn't really sell as much it, it's just not going to happen the only reason we're doing the tlr7 on the glock 19 is because it's a glock 19 and glock owns about 68 percent of the market or something like that. I read it somewhere. And so that's the only, and the TLR7, uh, people are going Google Gaga over it. And we know that we'll probably sell more of those than the PPQ or even the VP9 without a light. That's just the fact. It's an honest fact. And we go by what the market wants and that's what the market wants and that's what we're going to give them. So sorry, man. Uh, but yes, the APL is an awesome light. It's a great light. I have one. I think I have one on my ARs. Uh, and uh, it's a great light. It's lightweight and uh, it works well. Uh, but, you know, we go with what people usually buy the most and Streamlight has a very aggressive uh, market on the weapon lights and so does Surefire. So we go with that. I mean, it is what it is, guys. At the end of the day, it's what is going to sell more, especially when a lot of effort and time goes into making these molds. We need to make sure that we choose the right gun, gun type, and if we're going to put a weapon light, that we choose the right weapon light. I mean, Olight's been around for a while, for about a year, year and a half. They've probably been around longer, but the whole craze has been around for a while. So we may start looking at that, but I don't know. It may start tapering off. So what are we going to do with a mold that makes a Glock 19 with an Olight and it's sold well for a month or two, but then it just, now it's not doing anything. So all those things we need to take into consideration, guys, uh, our apologies, um, we're not a garage uh, holster company. Now, nothing wrong with that. If you want something like that, maybe you can hit some of those guys up. Uh, but for us, it just, just it just doesn't work to make certain weapon lights. The APLC is still, it's not something that's dead in the water. We're still thinking about it. We may throw one in there on a Glock 19 or something. But uh, again, no talks of it at this time. So my apologies on that.